Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Kono Pro. We're going to be going over some quick HVAC knowledge. Let me throw it at you. Alright, so in this video, basically what it's going to be is some stuff that I've learned over the years of hiring subcontractors and them giving me tips and things that I've seen, um, you know, going down and that will help the process go a little smoother when having an HVAC system installed. Okay, and we're going to give a brief description of what a HV system is. This is a split system, okay, and a split system consists of an indoor unit, which is your gas furnish unit, and there's other systems optional for indoor units, but in this one we're using a gas furnace unit, horizontal furnish unit, and then there's your exterior system, which is a condenser unit, okay, and of course there's other options for exterior units as well, but in this one we're using a condenser. You can see all our ducting ran. See our exposed framing. Just want to show all our ducting. Um, we have everything inspected, signed off, and this project is already finished. But I thought I'd share this video with you. All right. So you have the exterior system and the interior system, right? And that's your split system unit, and it's connected by a, a line set, which is that black line that the guys were just pushing through there. Okay. And there's our system. We now we have a horizontal unit that we're using. They do have an upflow unit, which is for a basement, and then they have a downflow unit, which is typically in like a first floor application. You see there's some of our registers um, right there. You can see all our exposed ducting. We ran that ducting through a little soffit. Sometimes you have to, you know, make little pop, little, little soffits here and there to chase the ducting. Whatever you gotta do, just know that you usually have to do that kind of stuff while running your HVAC um, ducting, okay? So you see that's our system right there, that's our horizontal HVAC system. And you can see basically all our ducting is strapped per code. And then you also can see our line set right here, you see that line set, that black insulated line that runs outside and that's connecting to our condenser. And then it runs back up into the attic and connects to our um, gas furnish unit right it's, our condenser is going to sit right out there which you'll see if you stay tuned in the video see that flashing that's some roof flashing that we put around our condenser line that's what the pros do all right and this company i use they like to they like to do things nice and that's how they do it that's the roof flashing it's to protect your um condenser insulation unit from the stucco when the stucco guys do their thing see all our ducting going upstairs I have to actually build a little soffit to cover that right there, which I did. This is, like I say, this project's all finished and done. So here we go. Now we got our condenser being our set, being set. So this is our exterior system of the split system unit, right? So our condenser. And one thing I've noticed, and I just, these guys even told me this time, they said, look, check it out. Make sure you always remember to tell your clients to register their condenser unit and their HVAC system with the company online, register their warranty. Because he's noticed in the past, when you try to you know, um, file a claim uh, you know, to get your warranty taken care of or whatever, if you don't have your systems registered, your HVAC system registered, then they, you know, it just, it'll make it a little trickier. So that's one tip. They really, my HVAC guys really want you to make sure homeowners will go ahead and register online and get their warranty for their unit, okay? So you can see how he's setting up our system here and you can put it directly on the concrete but I always like to put it on a little pad like that, a little faux concrete pad. I feel like it's, it's better if it's off the ground and um, my guys always usually insist on installing one too. All right, so another thing too I wanted to go over as far as HVAC systems and something that's really important to me as a builder and a contractor. So when you're having your architectural plans drawn up, if you're a homeowner builder or a contractor, it's key for your architect, ar architectural plans to reflect where the HVAC system, system is gonna go. A lot of times me as a contractor, I'll go quote a job and it'll say, it'll say on the roof or whatever and I'll tell the clients, I'll say look, it says your HVAC system, system is on the roof. Do you want to see it? And I'll say, no way. So then we'll have to put it in the attic or put it in the basement or whatever we have to do, we'll have to change that around because it's not thought of, right? So it's really key that when you're drawing up your architectural plans, you figure out where your HVAC system is gonna go and you're happy with that as a client. 
See there what he's doing now? He's caulking in the gaps around that register, right, between the drywall and the register, and that's so no air escapes into the ceiling. That's a Title 24 California code thing, and uh, even if it's not a code thing, it helps. You know, it helps insulate. Some people may say it doesn't, but hey, whatever. I, I always agree with doing things if it's, you know, if it says one nail, add two. So there it is, we're sealing that up real nice, and of course that's per Title 24, right? Sealing up all your registers and things like that. And that's another thing, pay attention to your codes, um, and I always recommend hire a licensed contractor, all right? Subcontractor or a licensed contractor that is certified and, and, and licensed in installing HVAC systems. You can go to the uh, their board, the board, and check their license, make sure their status is good. And these guys right here, I've used them multiple times. Amazing crew. They come through. They use good quality work. Um, really professional. They clean up after themselves. Bomb work. And you'll see right here at the end what they do. They do this cool little technique with the register. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the return air, which that is right there. And it's awesome, okay? Because we had a little issue. We have no room where we were going to put the access. So we were like, what are we going to do? So they figured it out. See those clips right there? They basically made the return air the access. So you just undo those little clips, push it off to the side onto the little catwalk, and you can access your HVAC system. Get out. What I got right here is this is the access right here, attic access. Well, there's no attic, but this is the access to basically get to the HVAC unit that's suspended right here in this lid. So you, have, you pop this clip right here, you pop this clip right here and this is actually the return air for the unit this is a really tight build our space is is uh is very tight here we don't really have enough space to put an attic access and the return air so our amazing hvac crew came up with this idea they said look boom this is what we do and they brought this, this 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 is what happens when you hire people that know what they're doing they, they come at you with some skill that's old school it's not really used anymore but now I'm using it here. So this is gonna basically be the access and the return air for my HVAC. There it is, bam. There it is. Boom, money. That's beautiful. I love that. So there we go, we got the return air for the unit and it's the access to get into the upstairs to this little area up here to have access. And there's a little little catwalk that we have up there, a little platform that's per code, a little piece of plywood basically sitting on the ceiling joist. So once you get up in there, you can get up onto that plywood and you can work on the unit. Bam. That's beautiful. All right, everybody. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, gave you a little bit more clarity and insight on what a split system HVAC unit is. And you like that little cool technique we use at the end there for um, making the, your return air as your um, addict access and of course we have that approved by the inspectors and if you were attempting to do that I recommend you do the same um, the company we used really efficient um, great company we've used them in the past the description to their company and information will be will be in the information below in this video all right and please everyone if you're into construction and you just like construction and you want to keep these videos coming please give us a thumbs up Share us on your social media, and we'll keep them rolling. All right, everybody? The power is in your hands. You can do it. We got the knowledge. Please subscribe, and we'll share it. All right? Thank you, everyone. Kona Poral. Peace. <laughs>